Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Field Trips Panama. Welcome back, not to Los Buzos. We're in Panama City in Costco Viejo. About to leave Tantalo, our hotel for the night. Got all our luggage, about to catch our ride down to Los Buzos. We're doing some kayak fishing, trying to get Jennifer on some epic fish. It's gonna be good. We're gonna go down there, <laughs> check out the new lot, the new house. It's gonna be awesome. We're about to hitch our ride. Catch you guys down there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Gonna stay behind me a little bit. Super calm. Ready? Yeah. Come on up. Okay. Yeah, you can get out there. Just put it around. I'll be right behind you. And we're off. Let's see what we can get into today. There you go. First cast of the trip, first cast of the day. And Jennifer's hooked up. You on? Yeah, keep it tight. <laughs> We're just heading out to the spot. Oh, did it come off? Came off, that's, oh. Yeah, keep reeling, because it might be coming at you real fast. There you go. <laughs> We're just heading out to the spot. I haven't even started fishing yet. Had a pack of bonitas come up in front of us. Jennifer made one cast in there and she's tight and it's screaming drag. <laughs> Great job, babe. So once it comes up next to you, you wanna leave like a little more than a rod length of line out and then you'll swing it in towards the boat, but be ready, it may go again. And then you'll grab it by the tail, but you gotta grab super hard, okay? Leave enough line in the water where his head stays in the water in the future. It's like if we wanted to use him for bait, you can't pull his head out and that's also when they'll shake the hook. You gotta let more line out. Hard. Good job. Ah, good nice. First cast of the trip. First fish. Look at that. Now we could use him for bait, but we're going to wait. We're going to get out there. But great job. Thanks. One for one cast to fish. Steady? Yep. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> Took off. Took off. off. <laughs> great job. Oh, okay. I got my hands wet. Too fishy. Skunks off. You're already. Let's do this. Yeah, the first one's the hardest. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I love it. Great job. Perfectly executed. All right, well, we made it. Jen's making a little lure change. She's gonna be back over here in a second. We've got some current. I got a ton of marks below the boat right now. So I'm gonna start off doing some jigging. And I got a pretty small jig on. A little jig from uh, Ocean Tackle International. Sweet little jig. And it's basically, it's small enough that a bait fish, like a blue runner, could eat it. So I'm fishing for bait, but at the same time, it's big enough that a 50 pound rooster fish could eat it. Or who knows what else, so. Man, and ton of marks below me. It's looking prime. And something just bit me right here. Yep, there we go. Something hit me right at the surface. <laughs> oh! <laughs> First drop of the day. I think I know what it is. It's either a tuna or a white tuna, they call them, which is like a Pacific Bonito. I got a, I saw a glimpse of it, it hit it right at the surface. I think it might be a white tuna, which are really strong fish. <laughs> Not a bad way to start out the morning. First drop and getting some drag, screaming action. Yeah, and here it is. If it, was, it, it could be a tuna, but it'd be a small one. But I think it's a white tuna, they call them. Pacific Bonito. Uh, nope, it's a yellowfin tuna. <laughs> First drop of the day. First drop. I'm not going to hear any complaints about that. Oh, I hit it. He's already dead. He just didn't know it yet. I hit him with the gaff, but it came out. There we go. <laughs> that didn't take long at all. I was just telling y'all what was going on. 
and uh, there it is. I got it in the gills, which is perfect. It's bleeding. There we go. Yellowfin tuna, not a big one. That's on that Ocean Tackle International jig, and uh, that bodes well for today. Already got some action. First drop. And you see, I mean, not a big yellowfin tuna, but you, I know you heard that drag screaming. I'm pretty sure they heard it screaming back at the lodge 30 minutes away. They're just strong, strong fish for their size. It's yellowfin tuna, first drop. Nice. With the jig, but they'll hit that bucktail too. All right, gonna let this guy bleed out. And this is that jig I'm talking about. Blue runner will hit that, small enough. And even though it's not very heavy and it's pretty deep here, because of that slim profile, it really falls down really quickly, which is really key to fishing these things efficiently. It's something that falls pretty quick. And I still got good marks below me. So I'm gonna rinse him off a little bit. And then let him chill up here. But I'm gonna stone him. So put the knife in his head, put him out of his misery. Now he's dead. Got a lot of marks. There's more tuna right here. Let's see if we can't just do it again. Get some fresh sashimi for dinner. And anytime you think you got tuna or anything kind of mid-water column in the area, I'm always watching my line, really paying attention. It's 150 feet here. So I know it's gonna take a little while for this to get down to the bottom, right? If it stops, if my line stops coming out and I know there's no way it hit bottom already, then that means something picked it up on the way down. When that happens, you close the bale, set the hook, and usually you're on. So it's really important to kind of watch the fall when you know there's fish like that in the area. And man, tickled by that, did not take long. Oh, something hit me already. Oh, yep, there we go. Come on again, babe, next drop. Come over here. This is something smaller, I think, or it's just coming at me. It might just be coming at me, it's already right here. What is this? This one might be a bonita. No, this is a white tuna. So the other fish I was talking about, oh, which they've got sharp teeth. What? I would come to me where I'm catching fish. Or right up there, because I'm drifting this way. Uh, so that is a white tuna, they call it, but really it's a Pacific Bonito. They got sharp teeth. I was told they're actually in the mackerel family and they got a mouth like mackerel, even though they kind of got a body like a tuna. Sweet fish. And now these, we don't really eat them much, but I've heard they're good and the captains love them. Yeah, drop that thing down the bottom and kind of jig it up like you would a jig, babe. And if it doesn't work, then we're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna make you a jig, jig, because that's two drops of the jig. I got a yellowfin tuna and then this. They're biting it. It takes a while, yep. All right, two drops, two fish. Not mad about that start. And you can try it slower too, like. Something like this. Again, the roosters like it fast, but everything else, snapper and stuff, I mean, they don't hate it fast, but you don't have to go quite so fast. There you go. Another fish on for Jen. If it's a bonita, it's not a small one. Nice. Actually, actually, put that back in the water. Put that back in the water. We're gonna put that out live. Um, so pedal forward towards me. All right. You got your legs spread. Huh? Okay. Uh, Trying to bring him up towards me. I don't think he's gonna live too long because he wasn't, he was, well, I don't know, he's pretty lively now. He's gonna be good. Start pedaling though, can't, can't stop moving with that guy. 
we're gonna get back up on the spot, which has gotta be back this way. So, no, sir, turn around. Yeah. Oh yeah, you'll know it. And I'll be right here, so I'll talk you through it. But if that takes off, I know it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be exciting, but you really need to listen to what I'm saying the whole time, because the clients that I'm there to talk them through these fights, it's like 10 times the number of fish get landed than when they're off on their own, and there's just a lot of little things I can help you with. But we'll see, hopefully it gets bit. And if not, if it doesn't get bit, then we will chunk it up. Drop some chunks down and anything could eat that. That thing, you're fishing for a monster right now, only. No small fish is gonna eat that. Okay, so I just caught a bonita, and I'm trolling it now around these reefs. So when it gets hit, it should be something good. But I'm excited, and hopefully something hits it soon. Kinda wish some bonitas would come up and I could snag one for cut bait. In case we lose this bait, it'd be nice to have a backup just built in, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Turtle. All right, guys, the so Jen's been soaking this blue runner for two and a half hours now. We've had two run, well, two active. Two times that we thought maybe she was getting a run. One time I'm all, all but positive, a rooster grabbed her bait and ended up spitting it back out based on the way the bait looks. But because of that, after that second one, when that happened, her bait is not very lively. And I was telling her that with these live baits, the livelier your bait is, your chances of getting hit are astronomically higher than if your bait's just kind of barely kicking around, which is what hers is doing right now. So we're just now entering into the low slack tide I told her last night that I think that the incoming tide, based on all the conditions right now, is gonna be our best bet at a rooster bite anyways. So she's not despairing. I think she's learning what, I've, what I tell a lot of people. People say, oh, we well, just go out there and soak live baits, like how easy. She's learning today, it's not easy. I haven't been filming a whole lot of it, but it is like a geometry game where we got the breeze blowing this way, the current's coming this way. She's got 150 feet of line out basically with her bait. And so she, we're trying all, the whole time, we are changing our speed, using our rudder, trying to play this geometry game where we get that bait over the sweet spot, over the reef, which is tough because that means that we're not on the good spot. I have to look and my GPS tells me how far I am from the point. I got a compass so I can kind of tell which way the point is from me. And we're kind of trying hard to keep ourselves about 100 feet past the reef, up current, upwind of the reef, so that her bait is down there dancing, and we're going as slow as we can get away with to maintain that positioning so that that bait will dive down deeper and hang out over the reef. But because slack tide's coming, her chances of getting a bite on that are about as low as they're gonna be all day for the next 45 minutes, I would say. So I'm gonna use that opportunity. We saw some bonitas busting out here. I'm gonna see if I can't go snag a bonita to just kill and put under my seat. And then we'll have chunk bait in case she loses that bait. And also out here is a good reef where we catch a lot of blue runners. And if I can pick up a livelier, a new blue runner, I'm gonna put it up on my setup and go swap her so that she's got a livelier bait for the start of this incoming tide. A lot of time right after that tide switch, either direction, in this case, it'll be the incoming tide. A lot of times that first hour of good tidal movement after the change, after slack tide, it can really fire off. And so I'd love to go pick her up a fresh live bait. And there's the bonitas for her to, uh, to have down after that tide change starts. And here's some bonitas. So first things first, I'm gonna go pick her up a dead bait. So that'll be a good plan B so that I have something for her to fish in case she loses that bait. And this right here should be pretty automatic. My cast might have come up a little short. Oh, no, no it didn't. There we go, we're on. <laughs> so there's our bonita, if I can get it in. But they do not come quietly. Even though they're not huge fish, they are strong. These are tuna species. <laughs> okay, so uh, if 
I can get this guy in, it's not automatic. These fish are no pushovers. And now this can be good live bait, but I prefer the blue runner, even a not so lively one for roosters specifically. Spinita is great bait for marlin, for sailfish, and for cubera snapper. And we do catch roosters on them. And you can see them just going off in front of me. I could sit here and catch a hundred of these, but we got to get back to her. So we try to get this guy in. If he'll cooperate. It's not even that big a one. They're just so strong. Okay, look at that. Came over here with a two-fold mission. And the first part is already done. I'm gonna stab him, put him out of his misery, which can be very dangerous because they do not sit still. Okay, so knife through the head. He's done suffering. And now we got cut bait. Boom, check. So now, I'm gonna stick him under my seat so that he doesn't kind of dry out in the sun basically. And he's still gonna, even though he's dead, he's gonna keep flopping for a little bit. Just his nerves, his reflexes. Well, that couldn't have gone more efficient, I would say. Um, a little blood in the boat. Boom, one out of two missions completed. We got cut bait now, so now we got a backup. Now, if she loses that bait, at least we got something we can fish. And at that point, I probably will just have to leave her to go get a blue runner no matter what the tide's doing. But I still got time now. Now I got about 35 minutes, 40 minutes to go try to find a blue runner, which is much tougher because they hang out down there. They come up to the surface like that in school sometimes, once in a blue moon. And those days we live for when the blue runners are automatic because they are the candy. They are probably my favorite bait out here. But usually you got to work for them. They're going to be further down and you got to fish this light little jig. This is a little micro jig I picked up from from TackleDirect.com. You can you can shop all my favorite tackle at Tackle Direct. And she said, "What was that? Come back." My GPS is kind of freaking out. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, you should be facing more to the right. Okay. I love you. I love you too. If you get a run, you get on that radio and you tell me right away, and I'm gonna pedal like like my ass is on fire and get back over to you. So like I was saying, you can shop all my favorite offshore fishing tackle. There's stuff in there that works everywhere from here in Panama to California, to Florida, to New Zealand, the Texas coast. It is just good all around offshore fishing gear, near shore fishing gear mostly. These Benita are still here. If Jen wasn't out here, I'd make a few more casts, just have some fun with them. They are fun, but I'm on a mission, blue runners. So we're gonna work on that. So the spot I wanna go drive, it's about 400 feet in front of me. We got, we got pretty strong current today. We've been fighting the current all day. We've been on a treadmill. We have not stopped pedaling all day. That's okay. That current tends to get the fish more fired up as you can see there. So it's worth it. No pain, no gain. If you ain't working hard out here, you ain't fishing right. A lot of my videos I think make Los Buzos fishing look like they just jump up in your lap and you take, we take the picture. It's, it's work out here, but it is worth it. Get up here and see what we can do. <laughs> nice! I just dropped the jig down and I already got something. I don't know what it is. Ah, uh, it's yeah! It's one of those like hockey fishies. Uh, no, that's called a flag cabria. Flag cabria? It's a little grouper. Yeah? Look at this. I think, did I catch one of these before? Where could I not touch this fish? Really don't want to touch it at all. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> He's in the boat with me now. Can I grab this fish? Be really careful, not in the mouth. Okay, look at that. Okay, I got it. Hopefully he doesn't fin me. Look at that. Ah, it's pretty cool. It's a different type of fish. Say bye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I let it go! It's pretty cool. Alright, we gotta catch more. So we're gonna take this bonita that I caught. We're gonna cut it up into about fist-sized chunks. So 
just like that. That should give it, no, we're gonna leave it there. We're not gonna drop it yet. We're gonna go be a little bit further up ahead of it because the current's moving fast. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Like play. Now you're kind of running over it, so let's get it around your bow. Perfect. Okay. What are you doing? That's already something. Oh, okay. Engage the drag. Engage the drag. All the way up. And reel. Oh my gosh. Reel. Yeah. Reel. Keep your rod tip to the front. Reel and try to try to start gaining some ground. Whatever that is is gonna to try to go on the rocks probably. Yep. You're doing good. Kind of lift up and then reel down. Remember, hold it right up a little higher. Remember? Yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. Is it still there? Yeah. Yeah. Keep, keep working at it. Try to get it up some separation. You're, oh, great. You're doing great. It's not something huge, but it's something good. Oh, reel, reel, reel. Don't let it slack. Reel, 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 reel. You don't, okay, stop. What do we got? I don't know. It came up quick. Oh, I see it. I think it might be a rock snapper. <laughs> Careful, don't let it get in your pedals. It is a rock snapper. Nice. How long did that take? Whoa! Something huge! Okay, be careful. Dude, babe, look at that monster. Watch your feet. Look at that! <laughs> that was what, 30 seconds what? down there? <laughs> yeah. Are you keeping this? Yeah, we can. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, we'll eat it. We want it? We'll eat it. Yeah, let's get some pictures of some. Man! Oh my gosh. That didn't take long at all. We catch a lot of those on chunk bait. Something humongous just oh, like no. erupted back there too. Oh, that was crazy. And so right. now, rooster's gonna fight 10 times, 20 times that's harder fine. than that. So just, you know, that's good to get some experience on that reel. Yeah, okay. now you can grab into his gill plate just like we did before, do you remember that? There you go. Oh my God. Great job, not your first one of those. Jennifer has caught this fish before, rock snapper or barred pargo they my call third. them. Third one. That might be the biggest though, that's a good one. That's the second biggest species of snapper we catch here. <laughs> ah, stop it! And we made a call to fish some chunk bait because the bite was slow and it just seemed like these fish were being lazy today and a lot of times that'll kind of get it done. That chunk bait, they don't want to oh. work for anything so they don't want to chase, they just want a free meal. And he got one and we dropped that down and 30 seconds later, she, I thought she was messing with, I was about to scold like, you, oh, quit reeling it in! And, ah. <laughs> that's a fish. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll keep that guy. Great job, Ed. There it is. So did I just put him in my front hatch? Uh, no. Oh. Ow! It's crushing my fingers. Are you right? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on to it. Yep. No. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Great job. Thank you, thank you. It happened so fast I couldn't even turn the GoPro on for the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'm filming. Don't lose a fish trying to... <laughs> Not take long at all, huh? No, not. I was telling you, you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, there's a fish! Uh, so there ain't no way! They just got <laughs> like it down it there. It just stopped. It's crazy. It's fine. I have a feeling we might get one of those on the chunk bait. They love it. But we had, I remember one client from Florida that caught three rooster fish in one week, um, all one on chunk. chunks. Chunks of meat are just like that. So yeah, get that off there, and then you have that extra chunk, right? Yeah. And did you see how I hooked it? Close to the meat. Yeah, you want to make sure it gets through the skin for that reason. Makes it really hard for it to come off. About right in the middle. Now we had a lot of the hooks exposed. Let's do that skin, shouldn't get ripped off. Okay, so. Yep. Alrighty. Drop it. Yep. Take it side view. Yeah, so look, we're in 66 feet, but I know that we're about to drift back into 50 feet. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this thing all the way to the bottom, and I'm gonna reel up like five or six times to get it from 66 feet up to 50 feet. Okay. Now it'll be a little too high right this second, but we're gonna drift it right over. And actually I'm watching it go down on my fish finder right now. It's pretty cool. Almost down there. In fact, I just saw that it hit 50 feet, so we're gonna stop it there. So now we're coming up. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Now we're drifting over a bunch of fish right now. Oh. Make sure it's on bottom. Try to really feel for what's happening. If it's a, if it's a fish, either it's gonna like it's take off or it's gonna be like that, that like yeah, electricity. In tap, tap. taps, okay. Give me something small. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, you were on bottom, but now you got it out. So now reel, reel some more up. Listen to me, reel some more up. Yeah, or he's gonna get, oh, that's a fish. Okay, now hang on. Now just leave it. Yeah, just wait until it really pulls down. Yeah, okay, there it is. Get ready. So start fighting it. Is your drag all the way up? Reel, 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 reel. Try to lift up and then reel down. Yeah, babe, that's something bigger. Reel, 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 reel. It's trying to get down the rocks, so try to lift up and then reel down fast. Hey, well, rod to the front of the boat. No, don't try, do it. You're gonna flip. Yeah. You're okay, straight right now. But try to gain some ground, try to lift up and reel down. He's trying to get in the rocks. He might already, no, he's still there. Oh yeah, babe, now we're, that's the fish. You hang on, just hey, reel, 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 reel. Don't let it slack. This is the time, give it your all, baby. That's something good. You're doing great, you're doing great. But he's trying to get down those rocks, so. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, babe. That's a fish. You're doing great. Try to lift up and reel down. Watch that line in that handle. Try to get that off that handle. There you go, there you go. You're flying, babe. This might be, just, just stay focused. Do not let that line slack. He's pulling you out. This might not, this might be what you're here for, babe. Whenever he starts slacking, you reel, reel hard and try to lift up and reel down. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. You're doing great. Stick with it. Stick with it, keep reeling. Keep reeling. This is something good. Keep, keep reeling. You're doing great. Feels like it's coming up, huh? You're getting some line? Keep it up. Keep it up. This is a serious fish, babe. Yeah, welcome to Los Buzos. Now we're kayak fishing Los Buzo style. That's something good. Oh, this is something good, babe. There you go. You reel down whenever you can. I know it's hard. You're doing great. I don't even want to get out my camera in case you need help. Gosh, you're doing great. Reel, reel, reel. Don't let it slack, I know. Yeah, that's because he's pulling hard. It's okay. That's why you got to lift up and then try to reel down. All right, ladies and gents, real, 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 real. Jen is hooked up to a monster something ah! on a chunk of bonita. She just caught a rock snapper, then she got robbed, and now she's fighting something huge. This is not a rock snapper. This is a proper fish. Try to lift up some. Okay, yeah, he's not letting you. No. As soon as he slacks oh. like that. No. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. And you gotta kind of lower the rod tip to reel down on it. And then lift up. And then reel down. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Come on, baby. You got this. You got this. I think you're pretty much in the clear as long as you don't slack. It's enough. So reel, 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 reel. You're slacking. Don't slack. I think that's the only way you can lose this fish now. Oh my gosh. This might be what you came here for, baby. This might be the moment. Just lift up. Now reel down. Reel, 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 reel. Lift up and start reeling before you drop the rod or you'll slack it yourself. You're doing great. This is a serious fish. Okay, reel, fa reel before you drop that rod tip. Or you're slacking it yourself. He's coming up now. Oh my gosh. This might even be a, a grouper the way he's... He's gotta be getting close too, huh? You just be ready. Keep that rod tip to the front. You're doing great. This is definitely not my best look. Yeah, you're okay. Here, this is a monster or something. Okay, he is coming up. He's coming close. Yep. Uh, you may need to go around, but watch the handle. You're in the hand. I'm gonna get turned around. I'm gonna put my camera up. So I got that ball. I'm not the deal. Okay, just hang tight. He may, it'll run again. Hang tight. I'm gonna come help you land it. I think it's an Elmico. What? I think it's an Elmico. Hey, uh, don't do that. Just let, just leave your rod tight. Let Where's me come try to grab it. Think it's big Elmico. Giant Elmico. Yeah! No way! Woo! I'm gonna gaff it, babe. Oh my god, this is insane! I'm gonna gaff oh it. Holy. Holy shit. Be ready, baby. He's I gonna am, go I am, again. I am, I am, I am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, holy shit. Oh my gosh. I mean, holy moly. Babe. 
<laughs> okay, be careful because your lines. Yep, I'm uh, trying to go around. What you need here? Oh my gosh. Holy sh! That's a big fish, babe. Holy moly, I need to quit testing. Look at that. Holy. Look at that. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy moly. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's big. I feel like that's bigger one that I caught from the boat. This is bigger. This oh is your god. this is your biggest fish that I've I mean except for that a lot. This biggest fish you've caught here, I think. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put this one down. What do you want me to do with this? Look at this. Do you want me to untouch it? You want this? What do you want me to do? Holy moly, I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I'm running away from you. Here. Pull yourself to me. Okay, hang on to my boat. Here, pull this. <laughs> Look at this fish. Look at this fish. And I did it! You did it all. I did it! You did I even caught the bait! Look at that! <laughs> that was that for an Abaco check on the chunk of Bonita. In 45 feet of water. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that fight was, that was wild. Ah, now yes. you know what it feels like. I couldn't like. reel. I was like, I can't do it. Oh, you see why I'm trying. Oh my goodness. Dude, these Texas muscles got it going. Got it going. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's insane. Oh, oh my God. goodness. So that's what a rooster's going to feel like at that. Yeah. So they fight about the same or is rooster tougher? Similar. I think rooster would fight longer. But still. That's, that's no, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. That's so epic. Okay. <sighs> See where I'm, you look great. You see where I'm holding it? It's like not in the gills, but in up in here. Okay. You see my fingers right here, see? Yep. It's like a good handle here. Okay. Okay? By this hand? Um, probably have to be the other hand. She's facing that way. Holy shit, this fish is bigger than I thought. Yeah, Holy no, that's massive. Holy. That is massive. Okay. We're probably gonna go in. Huh? We're probably gonna go in. Yeah. Like, that's... I'm good. It's a ton of fish. I promise, I'm good. I really, really am. I can't believe you just caught that. Okay. I can, I'm badass. Yeah, you are. Oh, so I wish I could lift, I wish I was strong enough to lift over my head. I'm definitely not. Look at this, Jennifer McGuire. I cannot believe it. Here ripping salt life at Los Buzos, oh. Panama. Just landed this enormous Almaco Jack. Now in Florida, these fish have worms. A lot of people don't like to eat them. But here in the Pacific, here in Panama, they taste like grouper. They're awesome. One of our favorite fish to eat, and that is a monster. I mean, 40, oh 40 something pounds all day <laughs> on a chunk of bonita. Biggest fish from a kayak. <laughs> oh, yeah. Easy. The thing was towing you like crazy, digging like crazy. Oh, my leg's shaking. Yeah, I bet it is shaking. <laughs> Incredible job, babe. This Look is at insane. that. What a great job. You hooked it yourself, fought it yourself. I mean, just did it all. Yeah, he's not quite I know, deceased he's so yet. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stone and put him out of his misery here in a second, but we're gonna eat him. Look at that. That's gonna be dinner there. Oh my God. These things taste like grouper here. They're so good. Wow, babe. Oh Incredible. God. First day out here. Look at that. Cannot believe Been it. Been catching fish all day since the very first cast. <laughs> and now look, say she's upgraded. Oh. Incredible. <laughs> So proud oh, of you, babe. Thank you. Great this job. Is tough. That thank is not you. an easy fish to thank land. You. Oh my gosh. He like squeezes my hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Insane. Epic. Great job. Sure. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing to watch. Hoo oh my yeah. Uh, now we're fishing, ladies and gents. I can barely pedal this boat right now with this fish in here. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it work. So Jen just caught Moby Dick. I mean, we really still have a couple hours of good light left, but uh, we got out here pretty late, almost midday, and uh, Jen literally caught a fish the very first cast, and she said this morning when we were kind of getting everything ready, she picked up the big live bait rod and said, I'm gonna catch something good on this today, I can just feel it. She said, right when I picked it up, I got the little tinglies. I'm gonna catch something good on this today, and there it is. Monster Almaco Jack. One of the best eating fish out here. Um, just stoked on that. But, I mean, my boat's like got a commission now. I'm gonna be limping back home with this monster in here. So, I think we're gonna call it, head in. Yeah, buddy. Babe, what a day. What a first day. Seasick and all. Yeah, seasick. I had to get in the water and take a dump. Today didn't go so smoothly, <laughs> but here we are. Got some results. Oh my gosh. Super impressive, babe. Thanks. You're a beast. Living that saw life now. All right, we're gonna get in. <laughs> Sick. All right, we are heading in. I caught two 
great keeper. My goldfish is to catch that beautiful rooster fish, but an Elmaco Jack is one of those ones that is an epic fight and delicious. Um, so Robert actually has it in his kayak. He's gonna pedal it back in, and I'm just gonna focus on pedaling because this is still a little different being out in the ocean. It's definitely not like being in a lake or even a river. It's different out here. Like, so he usually spots and tells me if I need to pay attention, if I'm about to run into rocks or what, and he's gonna pedal with that fish in between his legs. But anyways, guys, uh, this today was epic, and I cannot wait to come back out tomorrow. Ah. Well, workout in today, huh? Massage it out for you. Los Buzos CrossFit. Full body workout. Getting your legs, got your arms. Oh yeah. Dakota, Dakota, you up there, bud? You copy? Dakota, 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 do you copy, bud? Nice. So insane. It's like pottying on you. Right. <laughs> You're so clean. Hi. <laughs> 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 Jim brought home the bacon. Gonna be eating good. Monster AJ. <laughs> on a chunk of bonito of all things. I don't think we've ever caught a big one of these on a chunk of bonito. <laughs> we're gonna carve this guy up. Might even keep the body for soup. So we're gonna eat some of this, but Jen's only here for a week. We'll probably eat this for two meals and then the rest will freeze and the next group of clients here at Los Buzos will enjoy the fruits of Jen's labor. I'll make sure that they give her credit. <laughs> Beautiful fish. talking about me, he's talking about fish. Alright, we're gonna dig in this other side, then we're gonna go get cleaned up. I'm disgusting, this fish pooped on me. I actually pooped <laughs> on myself in the ocean today. So I am uh, just covered in blood, sweat, and feces mostly. So we're gonna get this cleaned up, we're gonna get cleaned up, and then we'll see you guys at dinner. Or maybe lunch tomorrow, I don't know yet. We're gonna see what time it ends up being, but we're gonna cook this bad boy up for you. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. Here, for you it's gonna be shortly, for us it's gonna be a few hours at least. We're gonna do this catch and cook. We're gonna finish up the cooking portion at our dear friends, yeah. Steve and Jessica. She's helping us with planting the garden and all this stuff here. But here we are inside of our casita, our house. It's it's rough right now. I've been here for five weeks, getting acclimated, bought all the furniture and everything. Jennifer's been here for a week, but now we're packing. We're leaving in the morning, so we're about to cook this up, but there's stuff everywhere. Sorry, there's probably paintings on it. <laughs> We're gonna go see the yes because they're amazing. They got this, the cutest little daughter ever, April. She's the sweetest. But we're about to bring them a gift. That's what we like to do here. Last time you guys saw us cooking with the Peruvians, Cynthia and Cesar, we brought them a bunch of fish and we cooked a little bit with them. Uh, now we're gonna take a ton of fish, all of this boala, like 20 something pounds of fillets as a gift to them, and we're gonna cook up with them. That's what we love doing around here. It's a small community. We like sharing the fish that we catch and enjoying it with their friends. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk over there. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> See you over there. So we got a little bit of tuna. Just a little bit. Two loins. That you can save, or we can cook tonight. No, no This is voila. That we're gonna cook tonight. This is voila. 
that you should freeze. This is voila, that if you want to cook some soon or you want to freeze, doesn't matter. These two bags, it's a lot. This is, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. These though, these two I kind of cherry picked. This is what I want to cook tonight. Then you put it on TV. He does. Yep. And also on the phone. Uh huh. You can watch it on your phone. You can watch them Every on the TV. Every time my dad watches it, I just come over and watch. You come over and watch them when he's well. That's good. The next episode, I believe, I'll be in it. So we'll cut this red meat and add an angle like this. And this will turn from one fillet into two fillets. Let's cut all that out. Okay, so some more for the ambiance and anything. We're gonna go uh, pick some fresh basil out of the garden for the fish. Basil wasn't really part of my recipe, but basil's good on all fish. So we're gonna, this is just turned into an Italian dish. It's gonna be good. It's fresh, never frozen. We're gonna go pick it out of the earth right now. Oh, look at that. I like to just pick it off the top. That's where it yeah, we don't need a ton. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Just give it a little bit of freshness. That's perfect, that's perfect. I've got six pieces of this fish. I just cut up two nice parts of the loin, the, the upper part of the fish into six pieces. And we're gonna do them kind of three different ways. We're gonna do one kind of Old Bay, which I would call like a nor nor'easter, a northeastern flavor. Because Steve is from Jersey, that's basically gonna be for him. We're gonna do two of these fillets Cajun, because I'm from the South, Jen's from the South, we're from the Gulf Coast, we're gonna do a couple Cajun. And then they have this fresh basil that we just went and picked out of the garden. So we gotta do a couple of these kind of Italian style, some garlic, basil, maybe a little oregano, maybe a little bit of rosemary. They've got all that stuff here. So we're gonna do six pieces of the same fish, two Old Bay, two Northeastern, two Cajun, and two Italian. And everyone can kinda of try a little bit of each. We're just gonna do it like family style. It's gonna be really good. But these are thick, beautiful cuts of meat. This Almaco Jack here, it's dark in here so you can't tell, but this is like grouper fillets. It is just beautiful. Firm white meat fish. Once we cook this, it's gonna be nice and flaky and come apart in little sheets. It's so fantastic. So we're gonna cook them all the same way. We're just gonna do it on a hot cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil, probably olive oil. We'll see what they got. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna so we're gonna serve some garlic powder because we're gonna put this on all of these because garlic goes with every culture. We're gonna do pepper because that's also very universal. So we're gonna do these two Cajun. These two Old Bay and these two Italian. You don't want to season this to death. When it's fresh fish, less is more. No, in New yeah. Jersey, we, I never do it. And so now again, you can season the sides of all these, but at some point, it's like, well, why even eat this fresh fish? We could put this on tilapia. And if you season it to death, mm -hmm. who cares? It tastes the same. It all tastes the same. Olive oil, I, mean, what do I think, is what I want to put on the band. Yeah. To me, to do fish right, you want it super hot. It's gonna get you a nice crust on both sides of the fish. And really, extra virgin olive oil, maybe not the best. Avocado oil is good. It's got a high smoking point. You can cook it super hot. So we're not gonna do this super hot, but it's still gonna be fantastic. I love the flavor of extra virgin olive oil more than any other oil. So we're gonna put this on here. This is a cast iron kind of skillet. And now we're gonna put some fish on here. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. You want that sizzle. So what we're gonna do, this is super hot. We got a good crust, I think, already. We're gonna flip this, but you don't wanna flip it extra time. So we're gonna flip this now, and then I'm gonna turn the heat down and finish cooking it through. We don't wanna burn it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. You want to barely cook your fish through. You don't want it to be well done by any means. You want it medium to medium well, and then we'll take it off the heat and it'll keep cooking. And we'll, we'll throw on the other pieces. It's gonna be fantastic. And look at that. Two beautiful pieces of fish. We've got the char marks. So now we're going back on the hot burner. We're gonna go with the, uh, the old bay pieces. Now. Nah, we're just gonna do two at a time. And so Jessica and Steve here, they make their own hot sauce and it's so phenomenal. I don't know if you're gonna like it. I don't know if you're gonna like not, it. Yeah. Not. Yeah, not it's pretty you. hot. We'll, we'll do that per person. 
score some. No, right now. Let's just. Let's just. You can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. I kind of want to just rip this. No, right just there. rip, rip it, dude. Do it. I'm gonna burn the fish if I don't. Uh, don't mind me. With the, uh, very high tech here. <laughs> field trips. I need to try it so I know if it's terrible or not. It, the flakiness looks good. Look at that. Look how white Perfect. it is. Look at that. Perfect. But it's so white. Mm -hmm. I gotta try it. I gotta try a piece before. I don't know. Hop in there. It's like it's like doodle. You know, like it's not. It's almost not like fish. It's got a good bite to it. It's not like it weird somp. It's it's good. It's good? I think it's good. Good crust on the outside. Jessica? People say it's good. the best fish I've ever yeah. had. I think, I mean, uh, it honestly is like, it's maybe really the good. best fish I've ever had. Yeah. Each fish has its place in time. Totally, and its own way to cook it. And I'm gonna burn you the rest of this, so you know, keep filming them enjoying it, but it's, it's good. It's, I'm gonna bite. It's good, That's right? Good. You should try it with that ginger so sauce. Moist. I'm curious. I want to try the. That's the key. The outside should be crispy moist. and like crusty, but the inside should still be juicy. It should still be moist. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Good. It's not mushy. That it freezes well. That's why we just brought them 12 pounds of it because you can freeze it's it. It's crusty on the outside. That's the key. You got to cook it hot to get the crust. But I'm burning it over here. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honestly, this one might be a little too much. This one's a little too crispy on the outside. I gotta go flip it right now. It's okay. so good. It's good. It's so good. Good. It's great. I'm glad I caught it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks to Jennifer. How if it weren't for Jennifer, we'd be over here showing chicken recipes because we <laughs> we wouldn't have anything. <laughs> I caught the tuna in your fridge, so just don't think I don't do anything around here. I'm not just the camera guy, okay? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? What's your favorite bat? Let me see you take a bite. You try the fish, you like it? Mm. I cooked it and she caught it. <laughs> That's gigantic. She caught that. So last but not least, we have the Italian one, but because we got some fresh herbs on here, I'm not gonna do this one quite as hot. Because if you do it too hot, you're gonna burn the fresh basil. Oh. And they just grated up some fresh Parmesan. Put that on top of this one. This is gonna be so good. What Don't about the it. Old Bay? What about with the New Jersey Yeah, we haven't tried the Old Bay. We need the Jersey Boy Jersey to try the Old Bay. Boy. You gotta try the Old Bay. Yep. Hey, Old Bay? Old Bay. Crispy, crusty. Hey, wait, 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 wait. No. Ah. Ah. Try a piece without the, any sauce. Try that. No sauce? Try it this way. Oh, oh, yeah. uh, okay. And then try the sauce. Doesn't need sauce. It's good, right? It's not too dry, right? It not dry, dry. Yeah. It's got a smoky flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's gonna try it with this stuff right here, though. It's so good. Barbecue. They should be good. Yeah. Love you. They say we're barbecuing outside. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not like fish. That's, That's the other thing. You are. He's been working hard. The texture's so good. <laughs> I think yeah. we, you shouldn't overcook Maybe it though. Maybe. No, okay. totally. Totally. That's why we see here. It's actually almost better than this. I like that. Oh, it. I like I was under my mom and I both like the we like our toast burnt. We like yeah. our, you know, I like that char. I like my bacon. Oh, burnt. I just dropped it in. What, is, what even is this? That's yes, 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 hot sauce, and what's this one? It's yes, a different yes. flavor of it. She makes yeah. two kinds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah they explode the other, it's a little, 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 Okay. You baby will love that one. It's not spicy, it's like sweet ginger. I haven't tried the whole I thing. like the spicy, so I like these, but you will like that one. <laughs> you will love that. Okay, the Italian so one. Ah, that's a bite and a half there, buddy. I got three packs of 
Good with the cheese? Well, like, fish and cheese. I feel like keep it going as well as fish and chips. <laughs> However, it works. It works? It is funny that yeah. cheese on fish is not like a traditional thing, but I feel like at the same time, Parmesan on anything ain't oh, I think terrible. The and the oregano, it all it it kind of goes together? Yeah. I'm curious. I gotta try this. Yeah, give me a bite. Marinara dipping sauce would probably go. You're gonna go be go. shocked how good it is. It doesn't taste like you're eating fish. It tastes like you're eating like. Like I expect like a pasta finish. Like I want that on some pasta would be oh, yeah, that's yeah. phenomenal. Get a cheesy bite? No. It's so good. It really actually, is good. It's actually, like, I might like that the most. You like it, Jessica? Like you're from Panama and don't say I feel like your your flavor palette is different. Like, the Italian one with the cheese. Yeah. Look at that. We gotta make pasta next time. Yeah. And now we know the fish outclassed us. That might have been he what said, happened. Don't just dip me in hot sauce. He said, hey, I went to Italy in the summer of 06. <laughs> don't act like I'm just some Cajun <laughs> trash. I think we're the most famous people that make fish. We're the most famous people that make fish? Well, guess what? You're part of we. So now you're part of the most famous people that make fish. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Everybody watching, please subscribe. Oh! Okay, you guys, well, we're gonna enjoy each other's company, but I think the, the fish was a hit. No? I think, yeah, oh, yeah. Amazing. All three styles, doesn't matter. Voila, Almaco Jack from the Pacific Ocean. You cannot go wrong. It's it's so tasty, it's so good. We did it three different ways. They're all a hit. Sounds like the Italian style one with some Parmesan on top. It would've gone good with some pasta, now we know. But Steve and Jessica, thank you guys so much for having us over, we love them. They are now our neighbors. We've got a place right down the road, 100 feet away. You'll be seeing more of them. You'll be seeing more Field Trips Panama. This has gone so great. Thank you guys for watching to the end. I appreciate it so much. We'll see you next week. I don't know what's coming up next week. I think we're going back to the US. But for now, we're gonna enjoy each other's company, finish eating this food. It's so good. Thank you guys. Love you. Ciao. Adios.